Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss fractions but we are adding and subtracting between fractions. Now before you start this video you need to be comfortable with the concept of simplifying. You can look at our previous videos on simplifying and you need to know fractions by looking at our summary of grade 9 videos on fractions. Now what you need to remember is that when you are doing fractions you can only cancel when you have one term over one term and they have to be the same. Now if you are given a fraction x minus 3 over 3 minus x plus 2 over 4. A good habit is when you start put brackets around any expression that is two or more terms. In other words, x minus 3 is two terms. x plus 2 is two terms. Number two, you need to get an LCD. Now using 3 and 4, what is our LCD? 3 is a prime number, so it remains 3. 4 can be broken down into 2 times 2, giving us an LCD of 12. We need to make the LCDs of each expression the same. Now how do I change this 3 to 12? I'm going to multiply it. If I take out the 3, I'm going to multiply it by 4. When you got your LCD, what you do on top, you must do at the bottom. Or what you do at the bottom, you must do on the top. Now, how do I get this 3 to become a 12? I'm going to multiply it by 4. If you look at your LCD, you would notice that if I take out the 3, I am left with 2 times 2. So I know that I'm going to multiply this 3 with 2 times 2, which is 4. And what I do at the bottom, I need to do on top. Now let's go to the 4. If I take out the 4 from my LCD, I am left with 3. So I'm going to multiply my 4 with a 3. But again, what I do at the bottom, I need to do on the top. Then we are going to simplify. Again, if you are not familiar with the concept of sim simplifying, please look at our previous videos. 4 times x is equal to 4x minus 12. Now when you are simplifying, this sign has to also be simplified in the expression. So we have minus 3x minus 6 all over 12. Why you can write it under one denominator is because they are the same. 4 times 3 is equal to 12 and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. When they have the same denominator, then only can I write it under one denominator. Now we go on further to simplify the top. 4x minus 3x is x. Minus 12 minus 6 is minus 18 all over 12. And you've now simplified the expression. Let us do the following example. 3 minus x over 2x minus 4x minus 5 all over 5x. First, we're going to put brackets around the expressions that have two terms. How do we work out our LCD? 2x is broken down into 2 times x. 5x is broken down into 5. I cannot put it under the 2. And x. 
giving me an LCD of 2 times 5 times x, which is equal to 10x. Now, if once I have my LCD, I want to convert this 2x into 10x. If you look at your LCD, and I take out the 2 and I take out the x, I'm left with 5, which means I must multiply my 2x with 5. But what I do at the bottom, I have to do on the top. Then I look at the 5x. If I take out the 5 and the x, I'm left with 2. So I'm going to multiply my 5x with 2. Again, what I do at the bottom, I do on top. Next, we simplify. 5 times 3 is 15 minus 5x minus 2 times 4x is negative 8x positive 10 all over 10x. 15 plus 10 is equal to 25 minus 5x minus 8x is minus 13x all over 10x. Now you've completely simplified. Remember, you cannot cancel the x with the x because there are two terms on top and one term at the bottom. Thank you for watching.